Hello, YouTube. Long time no see. Uh, problematic boy here. I have uh, <laughs> been MIA since I've, uh, you know, stopped playing the season three of Torchlight. Uh, where I did, you know, have a lot of fun, did all the content. Uh, but for those who don't know, who may be more used to my Torchlight content, uh, I mostly, uh, well, I come from PoE and I've played PoE the most. And I wanted to talk a little bit about, well, okay. I'm not talking a little bit about it. I am moving in on the patch notes drama here and just to talk a little bit about Trial of the Ancestors, my impressions of the patch notes, uh, which won't be very much because there really wasn't much in there. <laughs> and you know some general you know housekeeping of the channel and things like that since it has been a long time since i've made a video and i kind of want to get back into the groove of making youtube videos whether it's poe or torchlight for, for some reason um i do want to talk a little bit about this first uh, when it comes to torchlight if i find it a lot easier to make videos um I don't know, because I just sort of have a format and all this other stuff. And when it comes to PoE, which I have been playing, uh, <laughs> I don't really want to. I don't really know what to do in terms of like video, because I don't really want to make build guides. And uh, what you're seeing in the background here is just a little bit of bleed. I'll talk about why I'm, I'm you know, messing around with bleed. Uh, you know, in this pre-patch area as well. Uh, let's see here, let's grab that. Uh, so what was I going to talk about? <laughs> this is a, this is a classic problematic boy video. What was I going to talk about? Uh, yeah, making more YouTube videos. Uh, I wanted to talk about that first, because the thing is, I do stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash problematic boy, and the thing about it is, I do enjoy streaming, I get to listen to some nice tunes, I, uh, you know, just play, and if there are people in chat, which, you know, sometimes there aren't, <laughs> but when there are, I like, I like chatting with people, I like hanging out, some of my, uh, some of my friends come into the stream, but in terms of, like, who actually sees the content and who views it, YouTube is just such a better platform, and on Twitch, I just, I mean, Twitch is just very dry, I mean, it, there's just, like, not a lot of people that come in a lot of the time, um, and more people just get exposed to my content through YouTube. That's basically the, the brunt of it, is that more people are going to see my stuff on YouTube. So that's why kind of why I want to get more into making videos again. Uh, as far as the patch notes go, I'm not going to give like a full rundown because there's not really a point. I mean, some people, uh, a lot of people have been making like one hour, two hour videos of the patch notes, which is kind of interesting to me. Um... It took me about five minutes to read through them on my own. And uh, that was uh, on stream, of course. And then I went right... <laughs> I, I, I was like, you know, read them, seen everything, done. You know? Uh, I think that the a fair way to describe the patch notes... A lot of people are freaking out, obviously, because it's... Uh, especially Reddit, because there, there really wasn't that much. But I think they're kind of mid. They're kind of average patch notes... They did add a lot of support gems. The thing is, the a lot of the support gems are kind of niche. They fit into a few builds, but I think those few builds that they do fit into probably enable a couple more things. Uh, one of those things that it kind of enables, I think, is Blade. Especially the volatility support looks really good. That's the support that gives more maximum uh, attack damage and less minimum attack damage. And uh, also increased uh, more damage on the on the gem so that one's gonna be really good sadism might be good as well for bleed uh so that's two supports that might actually make it into into the slots and there's also some more interesting clusters and they changed some passives for like melee ignites or they added some stuff that does seem kind of interesting i don't know if it's actually any good i feel like <laughs> I feel like in terms of what was closer to being good, uh, Bleed was closer to being good than Melee Ignite. <laughs> so Melee Ignite me might need more help, but it did kind of get more things uh, on the passive tree. Other than that, the keystones look interesting and fun. 
there's some good stuff there. They just change uh, some of the other Atlas passives, and that looks kind of good too. Um, yeah, so my plan is basically to play trial on the ancestors. Maybe make some, maybe make some videos, sort of like this one, uh, where I kind of address. I'm sure there's going to be more, more drama or something or whatever. Um, the patch was saying, I think I think a lot of people are overreacting. I mean, obviously, it's it's a bit underwhelming. I can agree with that. But aside from it being underwhelming, what we really need to talk about is uh, how it affects me personally. Because as you, as people, if you have watched the channel, you know I play a lot of Bleed and Torchlight. In fact, uh, there's a whole saga where Bleed was bugged for the first two seasons of Torchlight, and I basically single-handedly not you know not to toot my own horn there were some there, I, I think there was like a few other people but most of them were helping on behalf of me uh, I basically single-handedly brought the bug to the forefront and got that fixed well the people who really fixed it were the developers but they become aware of it and I basically made a bunch of videos on it and you know got riled up about it and eventually it got fixed in Season 3, and I had a blast in Season 3 playing Bleed. This is sort of like... The Year of Bleed. <laughs> because... Because now, uh... PoE, the PoE patch notes that everyone's freaking out about, I'm actually more positive about them. Even if they, I do say they're underwhelming and that... They're average. That's in general, I think. But if you're talking about my specific situation with these patch notes, I, I, I kind of like them because the supports that got added <laughs> kind of improved what I like to play. Which, for whatever reason, is, uh, you know, physical damage over time, bleed. So, I guess that's my conclusion about the patch notes is that people can be upset, but if you think about me specifically, it's good for me. So, I don't really care what other people think. Uh, <laughs> that's that's basically it. Uh, anything else to say here? Oh yeah, um, trying out this character here. I'll talk a little bit about this character. I think Bleed Sunder kind of has a little bit of potential here. I'm playing it on Glad right now. I think one of the issues with this is it's gonna. I'm gonna have the gear spell suppression. I can't really get any on the tree. I might be able to squee squeeze my way over and get Entrench. Uh, but I'm actually kind of far from Entrench right now on the passive tree. I don't think I'm going to be able to get Spell Suppression anytime soon. So I might have to work on just getting Spell Block. That might be the way to go here. For now, I am running Tempest Shield right now. It's not very high leveled, but... You know, it's doing something. Alright, so we have about an 8 minute video here. I am going to sign out. Just wanted to talk a little bit of things about the channel, about the patch notes, about what my plans are. I think as far as what I'm going to start, I might start this bleed stuff, but it's kind of a shot in the dark, right? You don't know. I don't know how much better bleed is going to be. I know it will be better. I don't know if it will be better enough to be a good starter it's probably an average starter uh not very like a meta starter or anything like that that's what it'll end up being right now i don't think it's really a starter at all i think it's kind of too weak um but i think i think after trial and sisters goes live it'll probably be an average starter uh i might also start lightning arrow <laughs> and i think i might end up starting lightning arrow anyways uh thanks for watching uh if you if you've come back or if you, if you are new to the channel um if you want to see more of this uh rambling nonsense you can uh, you can like and subscribe let me know what you think in the comments about the patch notes are you are you are you very upset are you thinking they're average like me or are you a secret bleed enjoyer or an open bleed enjoyer and you're very you're like wow this is <laughs> i feel exactly like you problem my boy i feel great okay uh See you guys later, hopefully with a, another video soon, maybe within a week. Uh, this has been Problematic Boy. You can catch me at uh, twitch.tv slash problematicboy. Bye.